This is episode three of Vendetta Mentorship. Let's start with the Pokemon stuff because uh, we have some interns working on that. Linden Toe. I'm just calling him Ivan Drago. If he gets mad at me for calling him Ivan Drago, I'll call him something else. He did the second one. I haven't seen the third one yet, which he edited, and then Linden did the fourth one. It was uh, the second episode was really, really good. I like what, don't get, like I said, don't get me wrong. Linden did a good job with the first one. That second one, though, that was, it was great. Courtney yelled at me a little bit. I think we're going to be positive today for the most part. I, I've come to terms with it. You know, the, the first two episodes of this, every single semester, it's just going to be like American Idol. We're going to laugh at the kids that can't do it. And by the time we get to the third one, we're positive. Okay, these kids are doing a good job. Who's going to win the competition? Who's doing what? Who's doing this? All right, so who do we want to talk about? Let's let's just, I don't know, go, go down the list or something. Uh, has anything Alex Grossman done stood out to you? That, that blog about who should be traded? I Which stuck one? out. I don't want to crush you, kid, but that one wasn't great. That got the people going. Carl's intern is no longer here. Justin Franzak. What did he do? He didn't complete a single assignment and ended up being fired during his intern quiz. Did he get fired during a quiz? Well, I had told him, hey, Justin, this is like your third week. You've done nothing. What's the deal? And he said he didn't think he was allowed to claim assignments until his intern quiz was done. I mean, that's not the worst excuse. Not the worst excuse, but I mean... He also had two hours on his timesheet, so. Let's talk about Jerry Walker. Jerry Walker's still here and doing a pretty good job. I'm not going to lie, in all fairness, I haven't read anything from of Jerry Walker that he wrote, but okay. I will say this, like normally, like this deep into like new interns and new hires and shit like that, mm -hmm. I have no idea who like half the people, like most of the people are. The fact that I at least know who Jerry Walker is, good sign. That's a great sign. Jerry Walker's about to get the follow on Twitter. Let's talk about Mac Doyle. He's no longer here. Aren't like half of them fired? Pretty much. So we're, we're officially two for three on the Mount St. Vincent kids. Let's move Let's move to Katie Fitzgerald. She's next on the list here. Also fired last week. Why are we talking about all these fired people? Fuck them. They're gone. Well, we have to talk about them because they're no longer in the competition. All right, let's talk about Katie Fitzgerald, though, because I also blame myself a little bit for this one. I'm too nice sometimes. And only Chad understands this because everyone else thinks I'm just a fucking raging asshole. I'm too nice sometimes. So during her first interview, she didn't show up and emailed me like two hours after the fact or three hours after the fact. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize it was the different time zone. And I never fucking hire those people or give them second chances. But her email was actually nice. I'm like, I'm feeling in a good mood today. Let's give her another shot. Horrible decision by Trey. I will never do that again. And she then, also, you know, she was the same person that did Vendetta Sports Management. So, just not smart. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. And the only reason I'm not roasting her more is because she actually showed up to her meeting. Uh, Chickster's intern just went ghost mode. So, we'll rip on him a little bit more. He had the guy I was originally going to pick, didn't he? Yeah. He, let's, let's go to Lyndon Tell first because he's next up. Lyndon's problem, like I said, I think I should win. I, I'm pretty sure I've Lyndon there. is very much in in the uh, inside track to possibly win. He's in that, he's in, he's in that, he's, a, yes. He's in Perfect word. He's very much in the mix. I really liked his Senator's video. Right, he's very good. And was I, very I good. Liked, I, I, like I said, I liked his edit, his edit for the first episode of Pokemon's Legend Arceus, but he just got his ass kicked by Ivan Drago. I, I have, I have a lot of it. faith and belief in Lyndon Toe. Seems like a grown-up. Seems like somebody that gets it. No complaints. Lyndon, Lyndon Toe is an A1 day one. Lyndon Toe also going to get a follow on Twitter, by the way. I don't know what his Twitter account is, but I hope... I, I don't even know if he has one. I'm going yeah, to... If he doesn't have one, one, I'm going to make him one and follow him. <laughs> I love that. So, next on the list is... Uh, this is a negative one, for sure. Uh, stash Guy, Mateo Reeves. So, first, I, I'm a little... Like, for a long time, I was like... Did he die? Like, I, I was legitimately concerned he died. Because he didn't, like, respond to anybody for, like, the entire week. I just kind of took him out of slack. I didn't send him a firing email. I didn't do anything. He didn't respond to anybody for, like, a week. I, I know he's alive because he unfollowed the account. That's the only, like, other than that, I would be a little worried he died. So, all these interns are forced to get their topics approved before they start. Because I can't have any of these fucking kids go rogue because they don't really know what they're doing. This kid shows up. He's got two articles written that I don't know about. 
my answer to him was, I didn't know Stash Guy ran the site. After he did that, I was just a dick to him on purpose. Because when these kids fucking are disrespectful like that, fuck them, you know? This kid, after he's specifically told, and all the fucking kids are told, you have to get your articles approved because you're interns and you don't know what you're doing. He went rogue, did two posts without fucking saying anything. I wasn't very nice to the kid. Like, actually posted them or just, like, left them as drafts? Left them as drafts. And then, you know, this this one was on Chickster, but, I mean, the kid was writing Wikipedia blogs, and I said, uh, no. Nah. What do you mean uh, he was writing Wikipedia blogs? It was like a write-up on uh, some prospect in the fucking OHL. It was like a Wikipedia page on, like, who the fuck he was. Who's Well, who's next? Bratlovsky. Bratlovsky's had a big turnaround. Big turnaround for Bratlovsky. So he did like one post in his first three weeks. He wasn't going on a great path, but I had a meeting with him. Seems like he's got his head on his shoulders and he's doing things. Now, hopefully we progress him to be above Wikipedia pages because that's all he's got and done so far, but he's he's making a turnaround. Okay, next, next person. Th th I think this will be the last negative one because this is the funniest story of all, I think. Actually, I think it'll be more funny than negative. Johan Abdu, he was the editor. He was just fucking up the SEO, and I kind of specifically told him, I can't have you edit things if you don't know what you're doing on, you know, the back end stuff. I, I started making him write his own articles, so be like, prove to me you know SEO, you know? Prove to me you know that kind of stuff. So he started writing his own articles, couldn't get it right. We got into a little text exchange about how he disagreed with the way the company is run. I told him why the company is run a certain way. And then uh, the funniest thing he said to me was, he said, well, I've been struggling because Jerry Walker has been doing a great job. And initially the stories that Jerry Walker writes, he doesn't want to write about him. But after he sees Jerry Walker write about him, he wants to write about him, but then realizes it's too late to write about the thing that Jerry Walker wrote about. Let's get to uh, Kaylee Mixon, Courtney. Um, so she's, been doing social media specifically instagram i think she's been doing good posting something at least on the story and posting articles on the feed she is successfully running the instagram page to where it's not dead anymore so mm -hmm. credit to her we're not even going to discuss kane's intern i didn't know we had one not saying a word about him i don't anticipate him being here much longer that's all i'm gonna say uh kyle ferrari he's the one that's he's gonna pass me. he's gonna pass he did some clips. Yes, he's been yeah. put on a uh, clip duty. I wasn't thrilled with his work the first week. We had a sit down. He grew a pair of balls. He knew what I had to do. He's got one of the easiest assignments that is given here. All he's got to do is cut up clips. I want. I do want to say something about Ivan Drago. He works way harder than a lot of people that have been. And here. and and by the way, I didn't mention this. He reached out to me to edit Pokemon videos. Yes. I woke up one day, Slack message. Hey, Chad, can I work on the Pokemon videos? Fuck Made yeah. a new Slack message. Hey, Lyndon, talk to this, talk to Ivan uh, about splitting up the work for the right. Pokemon videos. Oh, right. we already talked. We just needed your approval. Fine. Fuck it. Let That's it great. Care. Great. I want all of those people. That shit fires me up. I'll tell you what. Both of them are in the running. They're both of them are in the mix. Courtney, any other final thoughts? Hey, there's more positive, but I think- I said it was gonna be! I know, but even with these, what, four, five that are doing good, I think it's still not that it's bad. We're under a five and a half. I think we're gonna be above that. Okay. We had, there was 15, right? Like, originally? There was originally 14 and we added more. Out of 17 interns, we've got four good ones and like two are passable. About, a, about the not far off from how it normally goes though. I mean, that, that's like a Howie Roseman draft ratio. I think next episode, we will strictly be all positive. The first two episodes are just going to be American Idol making fun of them because they can't sing. Now, we're past that part, so we're good. That's fine. All right, we're done.